Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to deploy your React application using Nginx. Since all the files in a single page application are static files, Nginx is the ideal web server for saving these static files. The only thing we need to do is matching URL path with the server's folder perfectly. This can be more complicated when we use a sub path or when we need to deploy more than one React application on the same server or when we use a React router to implement routes in React. I will show you how to solve all of these issues during the tutorial. Let's start first by creating the application using Create React App Boilerplate. To get started with the Create React Application Boilerplate, we just need to do npx create react app and then we choose a folder when to save where to save the application. So this could be like my app nginx. And then we wait like few minutes since he has to install all the node modules and all the um, files for React. Okay, I opened the code created by the Create React application scripts on uh, Visual Studio Code. And we, as we can see, uh, node modules are already, are already installed. We have a very simple React application with uh, an app.js file. And I'm gonna start it out just to see how it looks like. So if we run npm start, we should see on localhost 3000 the uh, app running. So it's gonna be localhost 3000. It's gonna it's gonna ha have like a React icon spinning. Okay, cool. This is like the basic React application. Now we want to implement a very simple, uh, very simple roots with React Router DOM. So. This is the website, this is the package we need to install. It's called React, uh, React Router DOM. It's one of the most popular uh, package to, to implement routes in React. So let's move forward and install it. Sorry, okay. And while uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna just copy the sample code from the uh, documentation page. So ideally we want to have like three very basic routes, home, about, and users, and we're gonna use it just for show you how to how Nginx can serve this path even if are not in the index file. Let's say. So we want to uh, let's see how it's looked. Like. Yeah, so I can just delete everything and copy the full uh, example from the React Router DOM documentation. So if I clear out, I start again the application and I should see now like a um, header with all the routes that we have created and the different pages. Yes, okay, that's it. With home, about and users, you can see that you can see the URL is changing based on where we click. So that's definitely the, the routes are working. Perfect. Okay, we have our React application running in local localhost 3000. Uh, well, now we need like um, an EC2 instance to deploy the application, install Node and Nginx and basically host the application on a server. So I'm gonna uh, move on the EC2 instance uh, menu on AWS, create uh, a new instance, I think micro is right. I'm just gonna use like default configuration Eight gigas. Uh, I'm gonna need uh, access, so I think I have something here. Well, let's let's create like a new security group, like React App Example Security Group. React App Sample Security Group, and we're gonna uh, enable. Um, SSH just from my IP. We're gonna enable HTTP traffic. What is it? So it's gonna be on here from anywhere because we want our, our website to be reachable from any IP in the world. And that's it. We don't need any other um, port. <clears throat> so let's launch the application. Let's create a new keeper, React up server, download it, and we're gonna launch the instance. 
it will take a minute or so, so I'm gonna stop the video for a second. The EC2 instance is ready, so I'm gonna SSH into it of first I need to change the permission on the key. So it's gonna be like this, then it's gonna SSH minus I uh, React Fam Ubuntu at the IP. That's gonna be yes. Okay. Next thing we want to do is to uh, update the packages. So it's going to be like this. And we're going to do the same thing. Then we, we need to install uh, Nginx and Node.js on the server. So it can take a while to do the upgrade as well of the packages. Yes. And now we need to install Nginx. And the command is just sudo apt-get install Nginx. It's going to run, give you yes again. And the last step is to install Node.js on the server. We're going to download the source for Node. And then we're going to install Node. And that's it. This is the command to install Node.js on the server. Let's see if Node is installed. We should see the yeah the latest version and same thing let's see if uh nginx is installed as well and yes it's installed and it's up and running on the server perfect so our next step is to clone the repo and see how we can serve the react application using nginx let's navigate on github this is the uh, project repo so i'm gonna copy the url and clone the repo on my server Gonna be git clone repo and next step is to cd into it and run the build script to uh, to, to build the uh, build package so we have like the versions to to be served by nginx so let me run the build script uh, of course first i need to install all the uh, node modules Shouldn't take long since the uh, it's, it seems like it's a very simple application. Um, so let's wait a second. Next step will be to run the build command to have the build package. Then it will be served by nginx. Nginx will serve like static files, so it's perfect for this job. Okay, done. So let me clear the console. Run the npm run build. And while, while the build is running, the next step will be to create a new folder where we're going to copy the build uh, package. And then we're going to tell Nginx, please serve the content of the uh, website from this folder. Okay, so the build is, is, is being um, created. If we go on CT build, we will see all the static files with the index.html uh, manifest and the JS files which are under the static folder. So if we do like ls static, we're going to see the JS files and CSS as well. So next step, as I said, is to go on the root of the server, but it's really up to you how you want to do it. And I'm going to create a new folder up deploy, and then I'm going to copy all the content of the build folder into this um, folder up deploy. So let me copy it. Now we're gonna show we should have the build uh, folder with all the files. Great. So next step is to tell Nginx to get the files from this um, from this folder and serve it. So I already built the Nginx config for you. So I'm gonna just show you how it works. This is the Nginx config where we're gonna we are telling basically Nginx to. Listen to port 80, here it depends on, on your use case. If you want to configure for HTTPS, just need to add the 443 port and also a server name with your domain name in it. The important bit is the uh, root directory where we're gonna, we are basically telling Nginx to serve all the files starting, starting from, from this directory, so like home Ubuntu, up deploy and build. And then we are telling Nginx for uh, each of the location that hit this URI, try to, uh, sorry, reply with the 
index.html file. So ideally, every URL is gonna uh, is gonna reply with the index.html uh, file, who's gonna get it from the build folder from the root. So the next step will be to copy this config on the server and restart it, telling Nginx to use it. So um, Nginx config files are under the etc nginx conf d and then we're going to create a new file remember to have to add it like the conf extension otherwise um nginx is not gonna pick it up on the config on the general config so we create a new file we copy the content make sure that the root directory is uh, a valid one and then you save it Next step will be, I want to show you how Nginx can knows about these files. So it's like if we open the default value of the Nginx file, uh, config file, sorry, we're gonna see that there is like a directory telling Nginx to grab all the files that hands with conf under the conf D directory. There is, there is like another one, it's the sites enabled. If you want to copy the sites directly in this directory, in this case, I, I created a new directory on the home Ubuntu um, path, but it's really up to you and doesn't change anything. So the next step is to check the nginx uh, syntax, to check if it's valid, and the command is sudo nginx minus t, and we should get an okay, yes. Yeah, so syntax is okay, test is successful. Next step is to tell nginx to load the new config with the sudo service nginx reload so now it's reloading and yeah loading the new config and grab all the config that we have just created so if everything is correct we should be able to see the website up and running if i uh, navigate to this ip let's see this is the ip of the server and is actually working so nginx is serving the files if i navigate through the routes the URL is changing as expected and the real test will be now to reload the page and see if Nginx served the app. Yes. So Nginx is is like is receiving this path and he knows that he has to serve the index file. So if we check here the network, the Chrome network tab, we will see that Nginx is replying with the HTML page, which is perfect for uh, when, when you when you are deploying when you are serving a static React application. Okay, perfect. So I show you how to deploy a React application on Nginx. I'm gonna leave the GitHub repo with all the code and the Nginx conf in description. The next video I'm gonna show you how to deploy a React application in a sub path. So for example, let's say you want to deploy your application starting from uh, your domain slash app slash from here your application should be deployed so we're going to deploy a react application on a sub path using again nginx thanks everyone for watching and stay tuned for the next video